I'll share my final item with you before if we take a vote that there was a uh, close lady uh, of our family that passed away basically from the virus and I called you that morning and the police came over and they will be uh, supporting the police department in a letter of commendation on how the police officers, the two that came over and handled that situation. Uh, so, I mean, that's why it's so important that we, we put aside the petty jealousies or get rid of this us against them mentality because the police are us and we are the police and it has to be that way. So I, I thank the, the kind lady from uh, Ward 3 for those comments and uh, that's what we have to do and I would, would, would uh, think that all the other council members would feel that way of that we're, we're not going to abandon any police department, we're not going to abandon our communities, we're going to stay here for the long haul. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, I, I agree with uh, Councilman Streets about the way the police responded. I think it, they did a, a great job. And I am very, very hopeful that are, we are moving closer and closer to that day when opposing sides can come to the table, unfold our arms, open our minds, realize we have two ears, one mouth, and start by agreeing on what's the common ground. What do we agree upon, and then how do we build upon that to bring a, a betterness to the community? And I think that the way the protests went, that gives me hope that we are closer and closer to that day. Well, I assure you, Councilman Anderson, we are. We are very close, and that's what this workshop is going to tell you, where we are and what we have done and what we think we are going to do. So that's where I, I agree 100% with you. We are getting closer and closer every day. What, think, what, what is it do you think we're getting closer on? What has happened to make you think we're closer? To get the community and the police department closer to each other. And that's what we are going to, and that's the goal. That's from the day one that was the goal. Well, I know what the goal is, but I'm just asking you what tangible event has happened to make it closer other than you just... Same. Well, we had well a, that's what we are going to bring it to you. This is one of the things that happened. We did, they did a peaceful protest. And I, I understand that, but I'm talking, but that was the citizens that protested peacefully. Right. That wasn't they the city manager. Them. Right. So but, I want to know what the city manager has done to bridge that gap that he's talking about. He changed the police department. I'm answering the questions for you because you, I'm answering them for him. Oh. He, uh, he, he, he helped reform the police department. Oh. I mean, Things are not happening overnight, and I know you're asking him, but I'm answering some of the things because it seems like everything you're you're saying is is actually you're challenging him on everything. Well, and I don't I like am challenging that. because uh, we do a lot of talking, and there's never really a lot that gets accomplished. So, Councilman that person on this particular one, we have done a lot, and that's what we are going to provide you on the August third, and see what we have done. And again, we started this four years ago with the police departments and everything has changed and we have done a lot and that's what we are going to lay it out and see what we have done and where we are heading with this it's just, it's it's completely different police departments that we have today you have to understand i'm a very open-minded person and uh, johnny streets and i have been friends for a long time <clears throat> i don't really see black and white but I'm, I'm asking you what you say that we've made accomplishments. And so just name one. That's all I'm asking. Just, well, just, well, Fred, let me, I'm like Ms. Watson, let me answer that. Uh, the city manager and I and Ms. Callaway with the attorney's office has made progress in addressing the same issue here that we're talking about. He has stepped up and said, I want to be part of it. And he's going to make sure that all of his department heads understand what this is all about diversity racism and it will not be tolerated so i'm very appreciative that he's moving toward bringing people together to have this discussion and, so and go ahead council i want to get back in and at the end of the day you know you got to look at we still decide whatever goes on we all we tell him 
what he needs to do. We said we, we tell him what he needs to do. So at the end of the day, all decisions are made by us. So, I mean, I don't know where this going with you. It just seems like you've been kind of like just really on an attack with the city manager lately, and I, I, I see that. I'm not I'm, I'm serious. I see yeah. that Saeed is doing a good job right now with with things that he's doing. Well, I, I'm, I'm all about performance. And he's doing a good performance right now at all the things that he's been doing. And um, and he does what we ask. Well, that's where I'll disagree. But he does we'll what we ask. Well, well, a good manager sometimes will do some things that he needs to show us that he can perform the job. So I don't get mad with him when he takes lead and do some things. I respect you for that. Yeah, so, I mean, let's, the issue is right now racism and the peaceful protest this is what we need to look at. we don't need to be arguing with each other if anything the city manager is doing something wrong you you go meet with him and see him if you feel like he's doing something wrong but otherwise let's address this issue that's really at hand that's really hurting the the community today you know that to the citizenry and and the police department the officers the citizens. We we have a motion, which which I think is yeah, uh, a motion and a second on the floor. and a second and. Read, read, could you read the motion, please? To direct the city manager to start the process and in, in developing a relationship with the community where they can address diversity and racism and other uh, topics. Okay, so can we include this young? The priest for protests of Lee County. So that will be. Can we? Can we? That, that was included you, with all organizations. Yes. Well, all, well, I would just that like morning. to name them to make sure he meet on a. And Miss Callaway has some people that are in the community, um, very diverse, and uh, they have accepted the uh, fact that they are willing to participate. Can I? Can I ask a question? Don't we have a uh, diversity and inclusion council? No, you do not. There is the mayor's diversity inclusion council. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we have that. And they, they're an advisory council. And um, the, what they're useful, this has been to our city, is uh, working with the city manager to look at our city and find out ways that we can improve our diversity and our inclusion. And what we have discovered in that process is that we, uh, you, uh, compared to all the six cities here that we are the most diverse city we have a diverse workforce and and there's a lot more that that they're working on uh, they work with hr and they work but they, their task kevin is to examine us as a bureaucracy establish where we are where we've been where we are and what we can do better it's a little bit different than what johnny's talking about right, right. And, and they do great. They're an outstanding uh, uh, committee. So what I believe, what, what I like about this motion is uh, that I'm eagerly ready to support is that we're already doing this, uh, and we have been doing it since the arrival of Chief Diggs, and it's getting better. And I said to Mrs. Barrow, police reform has a start date, and ours was years ago, but it doesn't have an end date. It is ongoing all the time. You can always, in this city, avail yourself to the city manager and chief digs, especially when you have things that you know of, you have observed, that can better this city. You will find them eager to meet with you. So I support this. I think it's a great move. Uh, I believe that you will find that we have some good things in place already, good procedures, good meetings, and that this will be be able to complement those efforts so i think it's a good, a good motion and um i will call it if there's any other questions let, let me so are we going to amend the uh, peace for protest to be the name of group actually i know you said all groups but there's just the actual name of group. all groups and especially the peaceful uh, protest and and meet with uh saeed and the chief because where it's going to come at is meeting with the chief because they would be able to talk with the chief and, and know what's the different grounds and what plans he has and where they can come to an agreement. Of course. So it's going to be important to meet with the chief. He could, they can meet with Saeed, but the chief is more important to meet with than anything when it comes with the police department. 
There, there, there's no end. We don't have a record of this. This is it. It, it, having a member speak from the audience. Yeah, we can't. We can't do that. Oh, right. we're being televised. We can't. Yeah, we can't. just share that when you meet. Okay. Just share that. Yeah. Thank, thank you. We're getting a little bit out of order here, but yes, to amend the motion. That would have to be the person that made the motion would have to amend the motion to. I will that. amend the motion for Saeed to make sure he contact uh, the peaceful protest. Okay. Good. And and yeah. all those who would reach out to the city manager to, and uh, the city attorney's offices to be part of this initiative. Right. And, and I, point of clarification, what's the role of the city attorney's office in this initiative? So the legal advice as we move forward. Yes, sir. Okay, good. And um, on the uh, question of uh, an outward uh, expression, a tangible expression, that we are moving in the right direction. And I said this in the council meeting before, and it regards peaceful protests, that Diggs and Marcino are available to protect the peaceful protesters. And in a recent Friday, going back 30 days ago, maybe three weeks ago, they knelt in respect for those peaceful protesters right downtown here. That's an outward expression. That's tangible. I will never forget that. It was an emotional moment. We're doing great. We can do better. We can always do better. And let's get the facts and specific details to the city manager that will help us do better. That's always the charge. It's been the charge. It was, it was that spirit that we embarked on uh, oh, years ago. And, and there's all this... Uh, speculation about why didn't the why didn't you go to the Department of Justice all that was vetted all that was vetted and the recommended action and I commend the city manager for this was to hire the Louis free agency an outside independent agency to do the most thorough drill down on our police department in our 134 year history removed from any internal any charge of Fox Garden, the house, all that. And then on top of that, it was recommended in that report that we reach, do a national search for a police chief. We brought Chief Diggs here from Toledo, Ohio, in a national search. There were a superior competition for that. And he has been a superior chief. All this is good stuff. Johnny, I commend you for bringing it forward. Terrell, thank you, Kevin. If you're ready, I'll call the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you all, and thank you, Ms. Barrow. And let's keep charging forward. Sean. Sean. Oh, here. Sorry. It was, it was Mr. Sparrow, not... Yeah, okay. Mr. Sparrow, no. Mr. Sparrow, yeah, of course. He's gone. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You stayed. That's important. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right. We're on the right track, ladies and gentlemen. Next...